Hi everybody, my name is Karen Nelson Bell. You can call me Karen or Coach Karen or k &B, whatever is your pleasure. Uh, my joy in life is helping other artists to reach their full potential. And I didn't really know that that was my joy in life until I'd reached a certain point in my career. I've been in the business for 50 years. I started playing piano when I was two years old. So I guess I've been in music for longer than that. I've been in, in it for over 70 years, if you think about that. So I started at my mother's lap uh, two years old, and then at five, she took me to Mrs. Wilson. Mrs. Wilson said, Karen will never be a piano player. So mother wisely took me to Mr. Canterbury. Now, I wanna tell you about Mr. Canterbury very briefly because he was a, a genius in teaching his students the entire fundamental basic structure of music. I didn't know that everybody didn't get that. I, I just thought that that was what we had to do. I had to learn everything there was about how music comes together. And so when I went to the university and I was studying piano and music theory and cello, uh, in the theory classes, I was like, why are we learning this stuff? This is like what we learned when we were kids. Well, no, it wasn't. It was only me. Nobody else had learned this stuff when they were young. So now what I've does, done is I've designed systems that will allow people to fast track and learn in magnitude of months what it took me uh, my childhood to learn. And uh, it, it's absolutely fascinating to watch people discover that everything is easy. It's easy enough for a kid. It's easy enough for a five-year-old. It's easy enough for you. So I, I love teaching from that point of view. So uh, in my career, I started off as a classical musician. I played with the symphony when I was 16. I played five years in the Kansas City Civic Orchestra, piano and cello. But uh, when I was 21, I fell in love with jazz. I'm from Kansas City originally. How can you not love jazz? And then I began to explore pop music because that was how you made a living. You know, uh, That's why I wanted to make my living doing what I love, which was music. And uh, later on, I actually became deeply entrenched in and involved with country music, which I have a, a, an abiding love for, because I had been hired to create a country music show, and that was a true joy, lot, tons and tons of fun. So I've been able to take this odd set of skills that I have and embrace all forms of music. So as I was, um, I played piano for Paul Anka for two years. Some of you are old enough to remember who that is. He was a 50s uh, pop star and he had a comeback in the 70s and I was able to tour with him and it was very educational because I got to see how things were put together at the highest level and how to be a perfectionist without, without going crazy. And uh, then I was able to translate that into being a musical director. I was one of the first musical directors in a big casino and first female musical directors in a big casino on the Las Vegas Strip. And that was a really wonderful learning process as well. I saw how everything got put together. I got to work with wonderful producers. I was just the musical director, so I got to observe, and that was my school. So then I had the chance to be a director and a producer, and I started pulling together all this strange, coincidental education that I've had and put it together in how to help other people in the show as I was directing them how to be their best. And I discovered that that's what I had a unique and peculiar set of ex life experiences, musical life experiences, that allowed me to do that capably. And I enjoy it so, so much. So <laughs> I would love to meet you and see if possibly I could help you to reach your goals. My, I especially like working with uh, professionals who want to up their game or with people who want to make the leap from amateur to professional or people who say, you know what, I want to be as good as I can possibly be. I'm a karaoke singer, I wanna sing karaoke, but I wanna do it as though I were professional. Or I want to play piano for my own enjoyment, but I wanna be as good as I can possibly be, I like a, a aspire to professional levels. So that's the viewpoint from which I operate, is that you wanna be the best you can be. <laughs> and you wanna do it uh, as professionally as you possibly can, as, as your particular skills, as your native talent allows you to. So to that end, what I usually do is I would like to interview you and I would like to audition you. Uh, we can do that by Skype or WhatsApp or uh, uh, FaceTime. I'm very tech oriented because in my career I became uh, a synthesizer player and synthesizer programmer. So that introduced me to computers. So I'm, I'm kind of a geekaholic. I'm a geekabee, a geek wannabe. So we'll do these things by tech that allow us to communicate no matter what city we're in. So I interview you and I audition you to see is your skill level or your native abilities such that I feel I can nurture them. 
If I don't feel I can nurture them, do I have somebody, do I have a friend or an associate that I think is right for you that would be a good fit? And then you audition and interview me and see whether you think you can entrust your talent to my guidance because uh, as I guide you, I might ask you to do things you've not done before or to think about things you haven't thought about before. And so there has to be a certain level of trust and you have to decide whether you'd like to entrust your talent to me specifically. We, we want to like one another, you know. <laughs> and uh, at the end of it, at the very end of it, honestly, everything goes back to you. You are the originator of your art. And I'm gonna provide tools to you. I'm gonna offer them up for your inspection. And you'll say, yes, I want to do that because it seems to make me better. I get better uh, audience reaction. I get more standing ovations. I get more applause. I get more fan mail or I get more jobs. Or uh, when I go to karaoke night, I'm first in line. I, you know, all the different things that you could use as measurements as to whether or not what we're doing is actually working for you or simply if you feel awesome about it. You'll never walk away feeling stupid, I promise you that, because we'll never leave something that makes you feel less good about how you're doing with your own talents. And uh, so, we, so we interview one another and we decide do we want to move forward. And I don't view my coaching as an ongoing forever thing. Um, I think that I can probably Im introduce you to a certain amount of knowledge and technology that would allow you to be self-sufficient so that you go off and design your own career, but you design it with uh, a foundation of knowledge that you have some basics under your belt. And so maybe it's a matter of months, maybe we're together just for weeks and you get what you need. Or maybe if you're a pianist and, or a singer that you wanna stay on for a while longer, then we can arrange for that as well. But I don't view this as an ongoing thing because you are the originator of your art and you're gonna be the decider. And once you have this knowledge, once you have the basics, then it's up to you to create, 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 create. And that's the joy. We have the joy of creating what we took out of thin air. And that's what I'd love to help you do. So. I hope you'll give me a, a call so that we can find out if we're right for each other. Thank you.